Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Earlier today, I did a video on setting up Botticera on your PC. It's Recall Box x86. It'll run on your computer. In this video, I want to go over adding game artwork. Now, I'm sure yours probably looks like this if you followed my tutorial earlier, but you might want it to look like this. Now, it looks a lot better. We have a game screenshot, and underneath we have a little bit of data about the game. We're going to be moving over to the PC. We need to grab our USB stick that we have our ROMs on, plug it into the PC. We're going to download an application called Universal XML Scraper. This is very easy to do, and it's pretty quick depending on how many ROMs you have installed. Let's move over there now. All right, so the first thing we need to do is place our USB stick in our PC. The recall box here, ROMs, and I only have a few of these. I have some Neo Geo, N64, NES, and SNES. Next thing we need to do is make a folder on our desktop. And this will come in very handy. So I'm just going to make this, and I'm going to call it Scraper. Next up, let's go ahead and open up a web browser. We're going to navigate to this web page here. We're going to download the Universal XML Scraper version 2. Now, Botticera, or Recall Box, whatever you want to call it, has a built-in scraper, but it sucks. In my opinion, this is the best scraper on the market right now. Let's go ahead and download it. This will depend on if you're running Windows 32-bit or 64. I'm going to download the 64-bit version here. I'm going to take this. I'm going to place it right in that folder we created because when we open this up, it's going to create several other files. Go ahead and launch Universal XML Scraper. From here, we're going to select our language, English, for me. Now, this is the setup wizard. We're running Recall Box, and I'm going to go with Recall Box version 4. Next. From here, we need to navigate to our USB drive. So we'll click on these three little dots. My USB, recall box, ROMs. Click select folder. Next. And next. Now it's time to scrape our ROM folders. We'll go to scrape. Now, since we don't have ROMs in every one of our folders, we're going to have to do these individually, and it really doesn't take that long. Select your system. From here, we need to select our corresponding ROMs folder. So, if I want to scrape N64, choose N64, now I'm going to scrape it. Give it just a little bit of time, and it really depends on how many ROMs you have in there. So, it's hashing all of my images now. It's going to download them and they will be accessible on the USB stick. So this is an awesome way to do it because you can always take those images and save them for later if you'd like. Files found seven, ROMs found seven, total time 21 seconds. So it scraped all of my images in my N64 folder. Click OK. We're gonna move to the next one. Let's say NES. Scrape. Done. 20 seconds for that one. So scraping all systems is not working with this method using a USB stick. So we'll just have to scrape our folders individually. I ended on NES. I want to do Neo Geo now. I'm going to scrape that. Eighteen seconds on that one. And I'll just do one more here. SNES, which will be at the bottom or near the bottom. Scrape. And we're done here. I just scraped a few ROM folders. Now when we boot Botticera back up, we should have some art and some information about the game. Now the built-in scraper takes a long time. This is also time consuming since we have to do each individual ROM folder, but trust me, you will save tons of time doing it this way. Let's move over to the Botticera machine now. 
So I just placed my USB stick back into the Batacera machine and we're booting up. So I only scraped Super Nintendo, NES, N64, and Neo Geo. So let's go into Neo Geo and see if we have any art. And it worked perfectly. We have a screenshot of the game. Underneath, we also have a little bit of information about the game. It'll start scrolling if the paragraph is long enough. Go down. This is my BIOS. And I'll check out N64. It's just awesome to add that extra flair to your system there. So it looks like it worked great. Now you can go through and scrape all the systems if you'd like to. Real quick, a lot of people wanted to see some Neo Geo performance and one of the games I love to test on all of my hardware is Blazing Star. So we're going to go right into here and try it out. And that runs amazingly well. On the Raspberry Pi 3, it lags out a lot when he's exploding or when he even comes on screen, that last boss there. And it runs it perfectly fine on this machine. So that's it for now, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe because i got a lot more coming. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments below. All the links are in the description, so don't worry about that. Like always, thanks for watching.